Hi there guys, this video will show you how to make a Windows 10 bootable USB drive using the tool Rufus. This method is created totally free from Microsoft tools or services. If you are watching this guide post discontinuation, you will not be able to download the Windows 10 ISO from the official source anymore or use the media creation tool to create Windows 10 bootable USB like we normally do. If you still want to use Windows 10, this is the way to go. First thing you need to do is to download the Windows 10 ISO file. Since the official method of getting the ISO is out of the question, you can go to the Google Drive or Media File link provided in the video description and download an original copy of the latest and final build of Windows 10 ever released. It has Windows 10 ISO for 64 and 32 bit, or ISO contains both architectures. Don't worry, the files are unmodified and have no viruses or malware. As I said, it is an original copy of Windows 10 acquired straight from Microsoft for the purpose of archiving. If you are unsure of your system architecture, you can always check that by going to the settings, system, about and look for system type under device specifications. Or refer your motherboard manual and then download the appropriate ISO from any source you prefer. Once you download the ISO, it's time to create a bootable flash drive with it, so that we can install Windows 10 on your desired device. And for that, you're gonna need a tool called Rufus. Go to this website, link will be in the video description. Now look under the download section and click a link to download the latest and compatible version of the tool. Since my system which I'm going to run the tool is a 64-bit one, I'm going to download the Rufus for Windows X64. Once you get the tool, go to the download location and run the tool. Now plug in any USB flash drive that has a capacity of a minimum of 8 GB. Rufus will auto detect your flash drive even though just make sure it's the correct one. Now choose the disk or image option from the boot selection. And it's time to add the ISO file to the Rufus. So click on the select option and browse and choose the Windows 10 ISO that we downloaded earlier. Now you need to choose an image option. You can just leave it as the default option which is the standard Windows installation. Now you're gonna need to select a partition scheme. You can choose GPT or MBR from here. To know which partition scheme is suitable for your system, go to the disk management. You can do that by going to your start button, now right click on it and choose the option disk management. On the disk management just select your C drive, now right click on the disk option and choose properties. From here go to the volumes tab and look for partition style and you'll find out whether your system uses GPT or MBR. But what if it's a new PC that has no OS installed in it? Don't worry just choose the GPT option without thinking twice. Because GPT is a modern partitioning scheme, part of the UEFI interface, so in short, every modern computer uses the GPT partition scheme. On the other hand, if your computer is an old one, it most likely uses the older BIOS or UEFI CSM. In that case, you can choose to go with the legacy method, that is MBR as your partition scheme. Now you can hit the start button and you will see this Windows user experience pop-up window. Enable the option create a local account with username. Now type in your preferred username for your Windows 10 local account and Rufus will modify the ISO accordingly. You can do it if you just want to create a local account for your Windows 10 instead of using a Microsoft account. Or you should if you are doing this installation post discontinuation of Windows 10. Now click OK and you might see this warning message. This is not an error that Rufus itself encountered, but just a simple warning. Rufus is trying to warn you about the secure boot vulnerability that Windows 10 still has and has not been successfully patched to date. And since this is a mere warning, there was no actual error. You can very much press OK to continue on this warning. No matter where you get the ISO from, you might also encounter this warning message. Yet be careful and make sure to download the Windows 10 ISO from a source you trust. So click OK to get past the warning and you will see another pop-up, which will ask your permission to format the USB flash drive. You should click OK to continue the process. And that will start the Windows 10 USB bootable media creation. It will take a while so sit back and relax. And here we go we have completed the process. Now you can close the Rufus and safely remove the flash drive from your computer. You can use this newly created bootable flash drive to install Windows 10 on any laptop or PC of your choice. If you want assistance with the installation please consider watching this dedicated step by step guide. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you liked, share and subscribe. This is your host Amal Rafiq, see you soon with another one.